Okay, hello everyone. Today we're going to do a little discussion on ebook marketing and we're going to compare two different services that can help you sell both your ebooks and your print books. And it's going to be called The Power of a Goodreads Giveaway. And we're going to be comparing Goodreads, specifically a print on demand uh, giveaway you can do with your book, a book like this one right here for Tarot Card Killer. And we're going to be comparing Bargain Booksy, which is a service you can use for your ebooks. Okay. We're going to be comparing a few things. We're going to be comparing the cost, the time, the effect, and the long tail of these different ebook promotional things that you can be doing right now. You should be doing. Okay, Bargain Booksy. Now, I'm doing a Bargain Booksy ad today, actually, for my uh, epic fantasy novel, The Hirelings. 99 cents. It cost me $50 to do that. What does that get me? Well, it gets me two things. One, it gets me a post on their website, which gives the book's details, and hopefully different uh, people will come to that site that wouldn't come to my site, wouldn't come to Amazon. They'll see that book and they'll buy it for $0.99, cents, right? Usually it's four ninety nine, so this is a big deal. Number two, this is what most people want, is the email. Now, for Bargain Books, they probably have about maybe 10,000 just subscribers on their email. So today my book went out on their daily email to 10,000 people or so. Now, what does that mean? Well, in an ideal world, that would mean 10,000 sales, but we know that isn't true. I did a Bargain Booksy ebook promotion a couple months ago. You can read it on my site. I'll put the link up with this video. And I paid $50 for that. And what I ended up doing is I ended up selling 22 copies of my ebook, Tarot Card Killer. Now, I was selling those at a uh, 0 0.99 cents there. So, what did that mean? Well, I'm getting 35% royalty, so that means I made on that sale, I made 770. Okay, that's a $42.50 loss or 30 cent loss that I had on that ebook marketing thing. I said 22 sales. I did this in like January. Do you know how many sales I've had of Tarot Card Killer since then? About zero. Okay, so long tail, if you're going to look at that, that it was very little. So it cost me uh, $50 to do that. I got very got 22 sales on that thing. Time, how much, how long did that last? Well, it, did, it was very easy for me to set up and the ad ran for one day, right? Now, um, it's still on their website, but who's going to go back all the way until posts in January and look at that? Nobody, right? So the time, we're looking at about one day here. Maybe two days in summer, maybe three days for these people that don't check the mail each day, which I find... Pretty hard to believe in a society today where everybody can't not check the phone for five minutes, right? So the effect, well, you're paying fifty dollars for one day of advertising. What's the effect of that? Well, you can see in my case, I got twenty-two sales of that one book. I'm doing one today. Maybe I'll get twenty-two sales on that one, right? I'm hoping for maybe four or five, right? So the effect is well, I don't know. Let's say twenty sales. Okay, maybe you get a hundred sales, right? Still, are you going to make your money back? Where do you need to make that fifty dollars back? Is that the point of doing it? That's another question you need to ask yourself. Now, what's the long tail of this? Well, there is no long tail at all, really, in my opinion, because nobody's going to be looking at that email in a month, and nobody's going to be looking at that website in a month. They're, they're going to forget about this ad. This is disposable advertising, right? You book, bargain book, see, right? Now, let's take a look at Goodreads. For Goodreads, you need to have a book like this. You need a print-on-demand book that you're going to have to make with Create Space. Okay, this is that's how I did this one here. I mean, it's probably still not perfect, but it's pretty good. I got my pictures in there now too, huh? so it works. I mean, you, you can always change these things and make them better, right? Cost. What is the cost of this? Well, Goodreads giveaway is free. It doesn't cost you any money. The only thing that costs you are buying your own books and then sending them to people. Now, right away there, you're looking at shipping costs. Okay, so for that reason, you're probably only going to want to do your Goodreads giveaway in the country you live in. So this is probably going to be the U.S., Canada, or maybe the UK for some of you people. I'm doing it for the US because I'm not sending copies to Sri Lanka, okay? So what is my cost involved with this? Well, this is where things get really interesting. This is where what what makes Goodreads giveaways so great and why a lot of people don't know about them and they, they should. They should know about this. So what I'm going to be paying to buy 10 copies of my own book on Goodreads is going to cost me uh, $42.50. Okay, so already we're, this is less than the $50 I'm spending in the ebook advertising. Now, how about that shipping cost involved with that? Well, I looked it up. It's going to cost me an extra $8.
for that shipping cost. So we're getting to a total of $50.50 here. So you're paying an extra two quarters to do this advertising, right? To buy your own book. Now, maybe you want to buy those on Amazon because that'll boost your ranking up, getting those extra 10 sales. I don't know if you can do that yourself, but something to think about. Time. Okay, now this is where it gets really interesting as well because we already saw that you get one day. You get about one day with Bargain Booksy. Now, what do you get with Goodreads? Well, right now, Tarot Card Killer, I'm doing 30 days. Okay. For 30 days, people can go to Goodreads or my website, or wherever this widget is, and click on that little button saying, yeah, I want to get this book. And then come July 3rd, I'm going to choose those 10 people to get the book. Okay, so this ad is pretty much running for 30 days, depending on how much you want to market it, how successful you are at that social media and all that jazz. Now, what is the effect of this? Um, it's hard to say. I haven't done one of these myself, but I went and did a little research today. And I found out some interesting things. And there's some good people that have some good posts on this. Put the links up. Kimberly, Kimberly Gravis and Joanna Pan, they have some good posts on this. Uh, one guy in 2012, he did a, a Goodreads giveaway and he had done some social media marketing on that and shared it and things like that. He managed to get it where he had 1,479 people requesting to get his book for free. Now, 600 of those requests came before that book was even published okay he was still writing that book when he went and did the goodreads or the the goodreads giveaway there for his amazon book and he wasn't even finished writing it. he knew that in a month or maybe in two months or three months or whenever he was going to have this book finished and he's going to give away 10 copies because by golly 4250 is a lot more better than 50 bucks and probably a lot more effective uh three or four months after he had put that book out it had had uh 2,000 extra to read requests on Goodreads. So he's got almost 4,000 people who have put that book on their to read bookshelf on Goodreads. What does this mean? All of their friends are looking at their bookshelves to see what they're interested in. So not only is this not 4,000 people here, we're looking at potentially 8,000 people. Who knows? Right? It's a hell of a lot better than these uh, one day 20 sales. I don't know how many eyeballs get on this particular ad. I'm going to say if that email goes up to 10,000, I bet half of them delete it right away, right? These are people that are going into there and they are consciously making the decision to click on that ad. They want this. This is direct advertising here. I don't know, you're kind of casting a wide net, right? Yeah, it's not as effective. Bottom line, long tail is long tail. This gets back into this 2,000 extra things you guys here three to four months later and that two read shelf, you're looking at a potential long tail effect of this Goodreads giveaway. I'm going to venture six to 12 months, but let's be a little conservative and say three to six months. You could have potential effect to this Goodreads giveaway that costs you 50 bucks, not counting the amount of money it's going to cost you to ship 10 copies of this to 10 individual people in the U.S., which I'm going to guess is probably going to be five to ten dollars per copy. Okay. So let's double the cost of the Goodreads giveaway. Okay. Right there. Let's say that it's a hundred dollars. It's going to cost you a hundred bucks. All right. Now tell me, what have you spent on ebook advertising this year? One hundred dollars. What what reach did that one hundred dollars have compared to what you can potentially get with this good reads giveaway? All right. Think about those things and think about what this advertising can do for you. And think about getting those books on CreateSpace. All right. Thanks a lot.